This video is not directed at kids, it is intended for a mature audience only, and may contain the use of curse words. No children under the age of 13 should watch this video. The War Machines is an appropriate finale to Doctor Who's third season. Appropriate in that it does nothing particularly special and likely will end up being yet another unfortunately forgettable episode. And just like most of the season, it wasn't bad. <laughs> I enjoyed it while I was watching it to an extent, but it likely won't be an episode that I will remember, which is unfortunate. I enjoyed the first part the most, as it introduced us to this idea of a computer that is smarter than it should be, and showed us that the computer knows things that a human-built computer shouldn't, like what TARDIS stands for. We got to see the computer taking over humans and basically controlling their minds. It was all rather weird and entertaining, and the more the story went on, the less interesting it got. I mean, when we do see the actual war machines, they're just... I mean... They're kind of too ridiculous to work, and they're not really intimidating at all. Uh, I, I know that the production team had budget constraints, and I don't know exactly how to make these machines intimidating, but as they were in the episode, they were far from scary, and I didn't really care. They, they were almost, I mean, they were almost a joke, and I do feel bad about complaining about things that were a result of the low budget. But I think this had to be brought up because it's uh, kind of a big part of the episode and I didn't think it was good. We meet a couple of new characters, Ben and Polly, and so far, like usual, I don't have anything to say about them. I'm going to wait a little bit before I say much about them, but I will say that they haven't been annoying me so far. I would like to take a moment to single out William Hartnell and just note how entertaining he continues to be for me. I really enjoy him, and I just wish that this season had given him better material to work with. But William Hartnell, he's really entertaining. I'm so, I just am so glad that I decided to just go through Classic Who because I didn't really appreciate him before. And after watching these three seasons, I really do appreciate William Hartnell as the Doctor. And I, I'm super glad that he was the Doctor. The blandness of this season and the reasons that season three hadn't really been doing it for me... These are things that I'll dive into when I do my overview slash review of the season as a whole uh, next week. But if, you're, if you've been following my reviews, then you should have a pretty good understanding of my opinions on this season in general. Although I haven't said too much about this episode, I don't have too much to say about this episode. However, there is a bit that I would like to say in the spoiler section. So if you would like to skip past that, then you may feel free to do so now by going to the point in the video as shown on the screen. And if you continue with me and do not skip, then we're going to be discussing spoilers. So, well, one spoiler really. But anyway, let's do that now. So I just want to talk about Dodo. So yeah, in this episode, Dodo leaves and it's not a legitimate goodbye or anything. She just kind of goes and we hear that she wanted to stay in London. So that's that. I don't, I don't know. I don't dislike Dodo. I did a little bit at first. But she became just kind of fine for me. Like, I feel as though I won't really remember her, even though I don't dislike her. Kind of like Steven, I suppose. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Yeah, so that's the only spoiler thing I wanted to mention. It's brief, but it was worth mentioning because it was an event in the episode. Overall, the season 3 finale was as much of a disappointment as season 3 itself. It was entertaining while watching, but the further it gets for me, having seen it, the harder it is to remember. Overall, the episode was fine, but just not just not good enough. The War Machines earns a decent rating of 7 out of 10. If you join me again this coming Sunday, then gosh, what do we have next? Oh yes! I will be doing a season 3 review slash overview where I discuss my thoughts on the season as a whole. And for the past couple of seasons, it has been good to talk about how I felt through about the season as a whole, uh, all the 8 or 9 episodes that they had, seasons 1 and 2, that was good. I, I liked that I was able to take them, the individual episodes, and put them together in, in a box and be like, these episodes overall were this good, and these are the ones that didn't work, and just, just be able to go through that in a, in a video, that was useful. But for this season, I think it's going to be invaluable for me just to be able to fully express my thoughts because I've I have been actually even though I mentioned it in the past couple of videos reserving what I want to say about season three because I do have some stuff I really want to say about season three so we're gonna do that next Sunday so that's all for now folks thank you for watching hope to see you Sunday take care 
and have a lovely week.